We mentioned a little bit earlier about our refresh rate on our monitor. Uh, well, let's talk about this a little bit more. Our refresh rate is essentially the number of times per second our screen is redrawn. Now on our CRT monitors from our side view here, our refresh rate simply means the number of times our electron beam sweeps across our screen per second to redraw that image. It has to constantly redraw that image and constantly uh, update the image, especially when we're uh, doing moving images. Now, a standard uh, refresh rate is going to be measured in uh, hertz, which is times per second. So our refresh rate for our uh, standard CRT monitor is going to be 60 hertz, uh, 60 frame, 60 refreshes per second. It's undiscernible to the human eye. Uh, we can't see it. At the 60, 60 uh, refreshes per second, you may notice a little bit of a flicker, uh, but at about 72 refresh rate or higher, that's the point where your human eye will not be able to see it. So if possible, we actually want to set our monitor to a refresh rate of 72 hertz or higher because that will make it at a point where we can't visually see that flickering. We can't see the actual refresh of the monitor going on. And if we have a refresh rate that's too low or possibly even one that's too high, um, a refresh rate too low may give us he give someone headaches while they're working because of the constant flickering going on that they're subconsciously seeing and a refresh rate that's too high may actually damage the monitor monitor if it's not designed to support that refresh rate our monitor that is 1280 by 1024 we recommend a refresh rate of 85 hertz one of the last aspects of monitors of a crt monitor that we want to discuss is going to be color depth now color depth is the number of bits used to describe a pixel color. On our different types of connections that we have in our monitors, we have different amounts of, uh, we have different color depths. Sometimes we can change the color depth that our computer uses, uh, and sometimes we've reached the max that that particular monitor supports or that particular cable will support. A 16-bit color depth will actually support and display 65,636 different colors. So that actually seems like quite a lot. But when you think of colors, you think of just the standard uh, Crayola colors, red, blue, green, uh, Granny Smith green, sunshine orange. But each of those colors have different shades. When you're, say, you're playing a very intensive graphic game. Um, the grasses have hundreds of different shades of green in them. The sky is, uses thousands of shades of blue in order to show that one sky. So the better color depth we have, the more vibrant our colors can be, the more drastically different our colors can be. Just because of the amount of bits that are used to describe our pixel color help us to have a much more dynamic color range. So 16 bits is going to be actually the color depth that VGA uses, just standard VGA. But when we move up to SVGA, we're actually looking at a 24-bit color depth. And how much more of a difference is 24-bit? 24-bit color depth actually gives us 16,777,216 colors. And you can see how that's quite a significant difference. Many, many times more than that 65,000, we're actually in the millions of colors that we can display on our pixels. Um, this SVGA display, SVGA is what displays this 24 bit. And this is also known as true color, a true color display. Um, you can go online and you can actually see comparisons between 16 bit or 24 bit or VGA versus true color display and the Distant, the difference is actually pretty stark. Um, it's a lot, suits true color is a lot more vibrant, it's a lot more active, and especially when you're using it in graphic environments or gaming environments, and even looking at photos online, it's going to give you a lot more vibrance in your colors. So, as we can see, there's a lot of different parts and a lot of different considerations in picking out a CRT monitor. We want to take a look at our screen size, aspect ratio, refresh rate, and color depth. And we want to use all of these in making our decisions on if we're going to get a CR, if we're going to choose that particular monitor. Um, we talked about the technologies behind it, and we've talked about why a little bit we're no longer using them because they're so big and bulky.